I am back. I know, no wig, no hair, no makeup. Oh my God, I am post-apocalyptic here. Thinking about this uh, movie that I watched. Um, and it's a good um, post-apocalypse film, Hobbs and Shaw. It's from the um, Fast and Furious series. Now, uh, Fast and Furious, that series, that whole lineup, one through a hundred million, whatever it is, um, that whole series is amazing to me. What I like about the Fast and Furious series is the friendship and the connection. Now uh, that they had as a group, they moved as a unit together. This Hobbs and Shaw, not so much. I mean, they left out Ludacris and they left out um my baby daddy i forgot his name i try to forget my baby daddy um tyrese yes anyway <laughs> um yeah so yeah they left him out they left them out of this one um for hobbs and shaw this spinoff but they brought in my other baby daddy idris elba oh my gosh and they had Idris Elba in this as a superhuman soldier, man. And he was able to take on The Rock and Jason at the same time and hold his ground for a good little minute. Like, they was going in that fight scene at the end. Oh, my God. It was epic fight scene at the end of, of this movie. Um, that, that thing was masterful. Um... Actually, that was the best part of the movie. The whole movie was good. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw, I, I really liked the movie um, a lot. It had a lot of violence in it, which I'm really not really into the whole violence. Uh, but it was it was good. And it had a good storyline. And it kind of tied uh, in some loose ends about who, uh, why Jason was even a part of the Fast and Furious series. It, it definitely ties into the Fast and Furious storyline. Um, I would definitely recommend watching this movie to anybody who is interested, um, in having a couple of hours post pandemic wanting something to do. Um, it's not, um, a boring movie, so you don't have to like watch it during the daytime with all the lights. <laughs> it's a good popcorn movie. Uh, you can watch um, but like I said, the best part of the movie to me was at night, uh, at, at the end with the, uh, with the fight scene. Um, and I would recommend the entire Fast and Furious series, actually. Uh, Tokyo Drift, when, uh, that, that part of the Fast and Furious series was awesome. The last one, um, when my, my little... My little friend, Brian, when he left the Fast and Furious series, you know, he died. Uh, that was so sad. Um, to me, that last one before he died wasn't the best one. I mean, they still had those really cool, um, explosive um, driving scenes. You know, the, the, the driving in it was amazing storyline though was weak um the movie itself was kind of sad so uh, i'm sorry but i didn't like the last one with the, the he was in like before right before he died um but all the rest of the fast and furious including hobbs and shaw highly recommend uh if you go through hell at this point you could probably go on prime or um netflix and watch um fast and furious all the way through if you watch the first one, uh, notice the uh, neon of it all, like the neon and the and the and the wave caps and the and the early two thousand late nineties. Oh man, <laughs> the fashion of the first one is amazing. Uh, yeah, and gotta love Tyrese. Uh, for, for, for holding it down throughout his role. And I love the, um, 
I know this is not about Hobbs and Shaw, but I'm just saying what I like about the Fast and Furious series is the role that Ludacris and Tyrese play, um, how they play off each other. I like The Rock, how they introduced him, but you could tell him and um, Dom didn't get along. Like you could tell. <laughs> they, they, you could tell they didn't get along. Like, you, you know that 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 wasn't gonna work. Like I, I mean, they're professional and they kept it professional as long as they could. But it must be something about the zodiac sign, a magnetic pull, a twin flame, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. They, they just didn't get along. Like they, you could tell. Um, but the Hobbs and Shaw movie is what I'm reviewing today, and I'm telling you to watch it. I'm telling you, Idris Elba is in it, and he is a fine piece of chocolate man that is held his own in the in the series. I'm telling you that it's a good techie movie too. It has a little technology in it. I don't know if it's real because um again I'm I'm still with the drones from the other movie Western <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, this is a kind of a theme here running through my movie reviews, I guess, but not intentional. Like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, I don't think. It's just certain things that I like, and this is one of them, Hobbs and Shaw. Mm -hmm.